what we are looking at is the new five gallon pail filling and, and capping line. Um, and then in this video we're going to basically explain what it does and, and how to operate the equipment. Um, uh, we'll begin back here. This is a filter regulator unit. That's where the, the air supply to the machine comes in. Um, we like to see the air supply at, uh, at at least 80 psi and anywhere from 80 to 120. I would not go below 80 uh, because that that uh, causes some of the sensors, the pneumatic sensors, to have problems. Uh, this this equipment seems to operate very well at 80, so that's where we're set now. Um, you can see the yellow tab to the left of the the, the gauge there. That is uh, it's a it's an air gate. If you hit that down, it will dump all the air to the the whole line. Um, it's it's good if there's a problem along the line, you can just hit that for a stop. Um, there's also a a tap in this brass T where you can tie in the filling machine to that as well. Uh, and so there you'll be able to shut the power to the filling machine off too if you need to. But normally you won't even have to use that just you know when you start up or shut it down for maintenance. And incidentally if you are working on the equipment always take the air off the machine. You don't want something you know moving when you're not ready for it to move. Uh, Alright well since we're in this area this switch uh, is the detection switch for the pail and that also tells the filler uh, that it's okay, there's a pail there, it tells the filler there's a pail in place and it's okay to fill. And that later on we'll go to the other side and I'll show you where the filling machine ties into this machine. And then uh, we'll move along further down. This station, uh, we, we, we fill at this station. This station is skip, just a, you know, an extra accumulation for a pail. Uh, this is our lidding station. What this, this just drops the lid onto the pail. Um, then it moves along here. There's another blank station. Um, and then the, as you'll see, there, there's not guarding here, but when you get the machine, you will have guards. They're removed for the video here. Um, but, and this is where the press happens. And what, the way this press works, this, is, this plate comes down. It, it actually, um, it falls, it free falls to detect whether the lid is is straight enough for the press to, to actually go. Uh, and if it, if it says, if this falls and everything is right, then it activates, activates a switch which engages this main air press. And that'll come down and finish off the, the lidding. And then, uh, oh, also I forgot to mention, each, each of these stations has a detect switch. There's one under there for the lid drop, and then this is for the press. And then uh, after it's lidded, it comes to this the end of the conveyor and then it will actually push off to your, your exit conveyor or you know some accumulation table. Right. We're looking now at the uh, the control box of the machine. It's pretty simple actually. Uh, the, the, the control you're going to deal with pretty much all the time will be the machine cycle. Now it's off. If you want to run it, you turn it on. And that will be your, your, your normal everyday operating switch. Um, we installed this switch here, it's a, it's a half cycle switch, and uh, what that will do is it will stop the machine with a pusher bars forward. Um, and and that, that will allow you to, to um, if, you, if you ever had to adjust the pusher bars, which you, you really won't, um, but, but, or if for some, for some reason you wanted to just stop the machine with the, the containers fully advanced, this will allow you to do that. But normally it'll be in the full automatic mode and I'll, then the machine will stop with, with the pusher bars down and back um, and then you, you'll be able to lo to see your uh, the locations where you place your conveyors on the or rather your pails on the conveyor um, and then the last thing this is a, a, a conveyor mode switch right now we're in the manual mode and what that is is now we're able to run the conveyor without the filler but when the filler is, is interlinked with the air logic, we will turn it to this mode, the auto mode. Now what that now that will will wait for a signal from the filler to tell the conveyor that it's stopped filling. Because you know you don't want the conveyor advancing pails while you're in the middle of a fill. So you will be in this 
mode pretty much all the time. But if you wanted to just run the conveyor, which we're doing now, we're, we're up in the manual mode. Okay, we're now on the other side of the, the uh, conveyor, and uh, this is where you're going to tie the filling machine to. The, uh, tie, I mean, uh, you know, connect the air, the air logic. Uh, the input on the left, or the, the port on the left here, is the input signal from the filler. Um, what that is, is the, the uh, I'll give you an air schematic showing you exactly which line to run, but at that, that that is a signal from the filler that says that the valve is closed, I'm not filling right now, and it tells the conveyor it's okay to, to continue on. And the, sig the port to the right is the signal to tell the filler when to go. What that is, is when the, when the, the, the conveyor advances to its full forward position, then that, that sends a signal out to tell the filler that the containers are in place. Uh, that, as I said before, that signal is routed through the, this detection switch, which is here. That, that switch is made by the pail, and if everything's okay, it'll send a, an air signal out to the filler to go. Um, and then what we're going we're gonna to show you the, the conveyor running, and you'll notice that the return of these, what we call this, we call this the pusher bars. These come up, and they'll, they'll advance the pails, and then they'll drop, come back, come up again. And you'll see that, you'll notice that they're running, they're re retracting very slowly. And the reason for that really is it's going to have to wait for the filler to, to do two fills. So, uh, but you know, when, when everything's in place, we'll be, we'll, uh, we can uh, speed things up as much as we, we can. But if it seems slow, that's the reason why. Okay, now what, what we're looking at is, is uh, the lid dropping station. I just wanted to mention that this switch here, um, when, it can, when, it, when the, the bars advance and it hits that switch, uh, it will drop a lid. just wanted you to be aware of that. In fact, I'll, I'll do one and show you. So, uh, un but under normal operating conditions, that will be the pail that's dropping the lid, not the fingers. Okay, what we're looking at now is the the uh, the exit end of the conveyor and the um, the, the cap presser, um, and everything's been adjusted. It, it seems to be pressing them on just right. But if you find that you need to press them a little little lighter or a little heavier, uh, you can make that adjustment in here. This this is the uh, the rod end of the main press air cylinder, and you could screw this up or down depending on, on the, you know, the, the adjustment that you need. For instance, if you wanted to press them a little farther on, you could unscrew that. There's two set screws in here, and then you can, you can thread that down or thread it up if, if you're over-pressing. Uh, but as I said, it's, it's uh, been set, and it's, it's, doing, it's doing just what it's supposed to do. Uh, and again, I, I want to mention, if this thing starts down, it's not going to stop. So. Don't ever put your hands in there with the air on the equipment. Uh, as a, and then it'll be guarded, but I don't, it's probably worth mentioning again. Okay, uh, in this video, we just want to point out a few things that are uh, 
special features on your machine, mainly uh, because it's, it's a two-shot machine. It's set up to be able to take two strokes with one signal. And it can also take one stroke if you choose. Now, the way we're shipping it, uh, this is your on-off. This, this, this means the machine will not cycle in either mode. So that's kind of your master on-off control right here. And, and this, this is a mode selector. Right now we're in the, the two-cycle automatic mode. And this is your foot switch. Now I'll hit this. The machine will automatically take two strokes, which is, you know, depending on the quantity you set it for, it'll be two and a half times two, which is five gallons. See here, it just went again, and it'll stop after two. Okay, now that banging you heard is the machine coming back, and it's ready for the next event. Now what we're going to do here, we'll turn it off, we're going to go to manual mode, we'll come on, and that's actuated by this push button. So each time you hit that button, it'll go one, one stroke. We have it set to the, 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 still at the approximate speed that you're going to want. Uh, now one little quirk about this is, if you go to from, from manual to two-shot, because of it, there's a special two-shot valve in the air circuit. Because of that, sometimes the machine will take one cycle, and it'll take that to reset. So I'd have a bucket waiting. Now I turn it off, I'll go to two-shot mode, I'll turn it back on. Now it may or may not take one stroke. Okay, it did. So it, it will take one stroke and go, even though even though you didn't hit the, the, the switch. Um, but, okay, um, but that'll, that, should, that little quirk won't be an issue when it's hooked up to the conveyor. And that's another thing I wanted to show you. When we, when we shift the conveyor to the machine, there will be a switch on the conveyor that will take the place of this foot switch. And I'll, I'll, I'll send along in, you know, thorough instructions, but it will just be taking these disconnect these couplings and replace the, the lines. Of, there'll be lines from the, the switch on the conveyor, you know, there'll be a blue one and a clear one, and they'll just go to the corresponding colors. So again, that the conveyor switch will take the place of the foot switch. Um, that's about the only unusual thing about this machine.